Hello, mm -hmm. I'm Isaac from Lots of Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading Disney magic, and to do that today, let's sit down and have a little Disney discussion. As I typically do each week, I went onto my YouTube community tab, but instead of polling you all for which videos you wanted to see this week, instead, I asked you for some questions. The first question comes from Technolads, who asks, which character, Disney, Universal, DreamWorks, etc., do you think you're most like? So I was kind of thinking about this for a while and I was leaning towards like Lewis from Meet the Robinsons because he's super like smart and hardworking. Or I was thinking of Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon just because I love that character and think he's such a noble guy. But then I just went and decided to do an Oh My Disney poll and I got Belle, which I was ecstatic about. Belle is my favorite Disney princess and they described me as being smart, caring, and brave. They said I might be a little different than everyone else, but that's because I dream bigger and that meant the world to me. So I guess for right now, I would say I'm most like Belle. Headphones asks, if you could be the equivalent of Sora from Kingdom Hearts or Emma from Once Upon a Time in any Disney world, what would it be? Because of Tangled the series, I have just been obsessed with Corona. I love the world, I think it's beautiful, and there's so many interesting people within it, so I would probably choose Corona, and I'm excited to go there in Kingdom Hearts 3. Pretty Girl asks, what ride are you looking forward to the most on your Disney trip? And for that, I would probably say Slinky Dog Dash because I've never been on it before. She also asks, do you ever feel alone in your extreme love for Disney or do you have a lot of people around in your family, friends who are big fans too? In my group of friends, I would say there's a few people who have a passion for Disney that's similar to mine, but not a huge group of individuals that have an extreme passion. But to be honest, that is completely fine with me because I think it's more important to be hardworking and passionate about something that they care about and relate with that type of passion and excitement more than the specific topic. I think it's important to find people though that you connect with in some way. And if you connect with people initially with Disney, that's a great first start. CS Squared asks, if you had to hang out with any character from Descendants, male or female, who would it be, what would you do, and why would you want to hang out with that specific character? That's easy, I would definitely choose Evie. Evie is beautiful, smart, and kind, and I would probably have her try to get me a new wardrobe. I enjoy looking good, but I think Evie would be able to upgrade me to a much higher level. Destiny asks, thoughts on Disney Live Actions 2019? I think all of the live action films from this year look pretty good so far. I think the biggest mistakes of some of the live action films have been going too far away from the original stories or not going far enough from the original stories. And so far we know that Dumbo and Aladdin are both adding some new elements, including new characters and in the case of Aladdin, new songs. We don't know too much about The Lion King yet, but from the little footage we've seen, I am very excited to see what they're going to do. I think it'd be really cool, especially if they were able to include some Lion King 2 characters into the live action one, but who knows? Alyssa asks, if you were cast in a Disney movie, what would your reaction be? Normally when there's huge news like that, I normally am just super happy and sometimes I'll admit it, I really happy cry. Like last month, I was able to find out that I was going to be the receiver of a VidCon creator grant and yeah, I was definitely just bawling in my room for a little while here and that. It just means a lot to me when my hard work and dedication eventually pays off. GV Santa asks, do you love the DreamWorks film Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, I would say I enjoy it fair enough. And do you plan on becoming a full-time YouTuber after you graduate? Yes, when I graduate, I think YouTube is gonna be my full-time job. I love creating Disney videos and being able to communicate with this awesome community, and I would like to be able to do that as long as I can. Luke Secora asks, how did you decide to pursue this channel as a means of enjoyment slash money? And in my eyes, relating to that, he asks, how are you able to keep generating original content when there are many other channels in the same venue? The reason I created Watso videos and pursued the content I did, and the reason I'm able to keep making more is because I'm doing this because I'm passionate about it. All the questions and videos I make are things that I'm wondering myself because I'm invested in the franchises that I discuss. I love Disney, I love discussing Disney, and I love making videos that I can share with all of you. Even though there's tons of Disney content to consume online, I try to make my videos as interesting, immersive, and as magical as I can create. 
And finally, the last question of the day is from Nebula Lee, who asks, if you had a job at Disney World, what would you want to be? I love this question because it kind of goes back to the reason I do YouTube. If I was gonna work at Disney World, the thing I would want to be doing is helping create the stories and the immersion of the parks. I'd wanna be in charge of every little bit that brings guests to feel like they're in a different world that is almost more magical than our own. Whenever I go to Disney World, I feel like I'm in a place that is happier and more magical than any other place in the world. And that is what I would want to oversee if I worked at Disney World. All right, that wraps up our little Disney discussion today. And I would like to say a big thank you for watching today's video, especially to the generous and awesome patrons on the Watso Videos Patreon. This is the last video I'll be posting before I go on vacation to Disney World next week. But fear not, I will have videos scheduled to post next Tuesday and Thursday. If you would like to stay in the loop with everything I'm doing on my trip, please go check out my Instagram story next week at Watso Videos. I'll be doing my best to keep you up to date on all the magic I'm experiencing. Also, if you happen to be in the parks and see me, feel free to come and say hi. I would love to meet and talk with anyone who enjoys my videos and my goal of spreading magic. If you have fun with me here on YouTube, then consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, have a magical day.